Hello guys and welcome to another war game Red Dragon video and today the game has come out for real so it's the full version and we're on the map a new map called Gunbot Gunboat Diplomacy. I've got a marine deck so I'll be taking control of this right hand side of the map and you can see it's a large area of open water spattered around with these five six islands and there's a river with a large sort of mouth to the river here that runs all the way through the map and out to the other side and of course a large land area where the real battle is won and so I'll be setting off here all I've got at the moment is a recon and a fob and um, a command infantry command just to hold alpha at the back there so I'm just going to see first of all what the enemy brings out before I decide what to bring out to counter the enemy. El, El Pichette, he's got I think a Commonwealth deck, one of the combination decks of the UK and sort of Australasian countries and Canada. So he's got some nice units. He's sick. He's got, so he's sort of going up the coastal route up towards India and across this bridge and this bridge. And we've also got um, Rain, Rain Diar, Rain Doctor, I'll call him, or something like that. And he's got, I think, um, some sort of a Japanese formation here uh, with a load of infantry. Looks like he's going in with a bit of a chopper spam there up with infantry. And he's heading up, up the left-hand side. So we'll get the game away. I'm going to play it mainly at times two. But I'll slow it down if there's a bit, if there's a lot of action, just to keep the video to a reasonable length. Now the alarm goes off there because I just unloaded my um, infantry HQ and just place it into the trees. So immediately I see they've got a couple of MI25s coming out, looters, huge ones, and a sovereign many. So a lot of a lot of ships coming out. I'll bring out a Phantom, which is an anti-air unit, just to try and shoot down these MI-25s, and hopefully it won't. I'll do a vac it because it's flying over their units, and I don't want it to um, get shot down too rapidly. Um, so everything survived the initial push, I think, but they have got a lot of stuff out. The Sovereign Many, of course, excellent ship, really the most expensive ship, one of the most expensive ships in the in all the decks and really good AA, nice, really good musket, really massively powerful musket missiles as well. He's got a Zhanggu, which, has got, which is a nice um, anti-ship ship as well, with some decent-ish AA. And he's got some other ships around. These looters are shorter range, but very powerful with an AP power of 100 there. And a couple of Hujans which basically are another ship-to-ship -ship missile with a decent range as well. Um, formation looks okay. I would have put the Sovereign Many in the front because it's got excellent CIWS, as you can see. Good close-in. Oh, it's actually it's very good close-in weapon system. And I think the Zhanggu has also got a close-in weapon system very good as well. So that's my immediate threat. So to counter that... Um, currently I haven't done anything, but I do bring in some choppers. Now I do notice that uh, El Pichette has brought in a load of these monitor zippos that he did want to push up through this river, but I told him just to hide them, uh, just get them out of the way, because there's no way that I can get enough ships out to take on this lot currently. So I bring out uh, a load of pumas and a load of, which are anti-ship uh, helicopters and a load of SH-60Bs which are another type of anti-ship helicopter. So I've got my recon keeping an eye on their fleet. Now he does split his fleet here this guy uh, Philosorapha, whatever, oh, in fact oh there's two guys that's why you've got Stilco sending a few ships out and Philosopher so they're splitting their navies and is it a mistake to split here? He should have kept them all together. They would have been much better protected. But he did split them. So I just get my choppers into position for an attack to try and take out these two Hujans, which don't have really fantastic air defences. But they're definitely worth shooting down worth 110 points each. So we're in position and we move in for the kill. So we'll just check this out. So rockets away.
And in fact, they're all firing at the same one. Oh no, they are firing at different ones. And one down and two down. So mission accomplished there. Now when this happens, he actually turns his ships around and beats a retreat, whereas he would have been better just to keep them clumped and get maybe another one or two ships with really good CIWS in on the act and try to get air superiority. But instead they sort of just sort of retreat and gives me a chance to go back and I'm going to resupply these choppers and have another go at them. In the meantime, we've got El Pichette taking control of the south of the river and the mouth of the river here. And we've got Reindeer taking, no, well it's actually got control of Delta and he's got units over the river in Delta as well into these buildings which is excellent. So it looks like he's doing a nice infantry battle over there. The, the opposition's got a lot of air choppers there so I expect he'll bring up some, try to bring up some anti-air to try and deal with that. In the meantime, this, as I say, this guy is beating a bit of a retreat. I'll just speed it up to times two. I get my choppers back to the fob and just basically resupply everything. I'm just going to return and try to take snipe out a couple more of his units. And in the meantime, I'm trying to save points for my own ship so that I can bring out my fleet once I've just got his sort of at least down a little bit. So my choppers have resupplied. And off they go again, and this time I'm going to be trying to take out these two looters. Again, a bit of a mistake, splitting the forces here should have kept them together. There's also another MI-24, so they are landing some infantry in and around here as well. So in go the shots on the looters. I've got a Phantom attacking this MI-25, which is encroaching into our lands. That does go a bit deep, that Phantom. It's in danger of being shot down. I'm not sure if it was shot down. And those two looters bite the dust. Nice 150 points each. I don't think I lost any choppers there. No, I didn't. And they can return. But they've got this rogue chopper down here. I bring in another phantom. So I think I did lose one phantom there because it went too close to the ships. Um, to try and tag at this MI-25. He's found my HQ section. The phantom immediately takes him out though. So he probably knows where that is now. There's a MiG-21. I bring in yet another phantom to try and chase down this this guy. And there's a couple of blocks coming in from Reindeer to deal with this MiG-21B as well. And that goes down. So a nice little skirmish there. They've also got a recon out now. And I know now in retrospect they have actually landed some units in here. And in here as well. They've got some anti-air in there I think which I don't, didn't know about in the game currently. Another SU-22. So they have got the right idea, and the idea is that they need to get air superiority to protect their ships. However, they've already lost four ships before they got tried to get air superiority. Now I've got these Phantoms again. He's pushing his SU-20, whatever that was, a bit too deep. And all I've got to do is evacuate before they get shot down by that Sovereign Money. Yeah, the one goes down there, killed by the Sovereign Money. This Sovereign Money has got excellent anti-air capabilities. With a range there, you can see a 4,550 and an accuracy of 60%. So pretty damn decent anti-air weapons that Sovereign Many has. So it's sort of get my choppers back again to the fob. Reload my choppers yet again. I've still got them all, I believe. I've maybe have lost one Puma. I've lost one Puma, I think. I've actually left two behind there. And they go for yet another attack. Meanwhile... El Pichette decides he's going to try and make a run for it with his monitor zippos up the river because he needs them to do battle, especially over here. There's a little bit of a skirmish going on over the river. So the Pumas and the SH-60B is getting into position for another shot. This time they're going for the Zhanggu, which is the one in front. A MiG-21 tries to come and take a couple of my choppers out, gets one there. Do I get the Zhanggu? The Zhanggu goes down. I lose one chopper. And hopefully I can get my fighters out. Here comes a Phantom just to try and take down this MiG-21. It's spin evac, so it's probably going to get away, is it? I'm not sure. That might have gone down, I'm not sure. But my chopper's come back. I've lost another one, so not all good news. But it was 150 points versus 60, so that's coming back. And you can see there's a unit there as well on the island. And in the meantime, we've got the guys over here doing battle nice little town battle there we've got looks like he's brought in a load more units though and he's got some anti-air there now as well to try and keep those choppers at bay 
These are mostly Reindeer's units. And LP Shit, he's managed to get his monitor Zippos into the river. These guys here. They can be, I believe, quite effective. I haven't used them in a game yet. Um, oh, nice graphics there. Oh, wow, one just takes a hit by the looks of it. So they, fa they found a couple of targets, and you'll be able to see the sort of damage they can do. Loses one there. They're not over expensive, these things. I think they're yeah, 30 points each, so not mega expensive. And they can do a lot of damage. They've got anti-air, as you can see as well. They're shooting uh, this SU-22. And they've all been stunned by that bomber. In the meantime, I bring out some ships to do for a bit of action. Now, I have saved up enough points to get a Lafayette, a Congo, and Oliver Hazard Perry. The Tong Congo is the capital ship of the Blue Four. I'll also bring out a couple of Phantoms because I don't want them immediately coming to attack me. And I do an all out, I do a big attack. I attack with the three ships and all the choppers. He attacks with Sovereign Many. And it's very weak, it's on its own. The Oliver Hazard Perry engages. I've got an LCU as well to resupply their rockets. And I'm going to get them just as close as I can, so hopefully they'll be using their barrel gun. But in fact, the choppers take down that Sovereign Many and Philosopher Raptor MD actually surrenders. So I immediately push my ships up. They have, and I notice these small landing craft here. So I'm not sure what these are actually. I think they might be, they might be, let's have a quick look. So yep, so they're sort of uh, rocket artillery riverine ships. He brings in some Fabeos and some other units. These, these, these planes aren't really built for a, attacking ships they're sort of anti-air and they're, they're sitting ducks really for the ships i'm trying to keep my ships together as much as i can i would prefer the congo up front but i just want to get forward really quickly and attack these riverines before they manage to get into the river and i also spot their recon there that's going to get taken out very quickly by the ships and they bring up another oliver hazard and little pichette brings up a load more zippos for a bit of a more of a river fight and we've still got a presence over here on the north of the riverbank. I'm taking out these Yu Shongs. So these are pretty silly to bring these in really. They're just not doing any good. They're just going to get shot down by my guys here. And the infantry battle continues apace. It looks like he's made a has he made a bit of ground. Well he's got a, he's got a big presence and you can see the enemy um, is, is, is able to hold him back though. We've got a big lead. 3480 to 710. And I've been attacked by um, anti-ship aircraft there, as you can see, which has taken this Oliver Hazard Perry down to one point. So I just micro that to the back of the pack um, just to try and recharge that a little bit. So they are starting to bring out their anti-ship aircraft now. All these monitor Zippos are making their way into the mouth of the river. And I bring up a couple of more LCU 1610s because the more you've got, or I assume, like if I've got three of them there, and they'll recharge my ships three times as quickly as one would. I'm really thinking that's the case. Now what I do notice is that the big capital ships take an awful long time to repair. Even the Oliver Hazard Perrys take quite a long time to repair. But they are throwing a lot of aircraft. They're not doing it in a really combined or effective way. So I am getting a lot of kills, a lot of easy kills. In the meantime, El Pichette there has got a bit of recon in there. Hasn't quite found the CV in Charlie yet. And I'm... Yeah, we haven't quite found the CV in Hotel yet either. Still got to push these last few units out of Delta. So now, in the meantime, I know they've got units on these islands. Um, recon units and some anti I know they've got some anti-air units over here on this island here as well so I'm just dropping off some SAS the reason I'm using SAS is because they're really oh here comes a load of aircraft they're not they're actually normal aircraft they've got to get really close to get their rockets off and it means that all my ships are going to get shots off on them excuse me um, so they've got some sort of SAS, yes, so the SAS are landing. I use SAS because they've got anti-air and also they're reasonably good against infantry and they've probably got sort of recon and anti-air units, mainly infantry in here. So the SAS shouldn't have any trouble taking them out. 
and I release a marine set of marines in there just to sweep through this island to take out any infantry they've planted in there and you can see there's a anti-air unit there that's just been taken out and these SAS will make their way across through the spine of that island and just try to take out any more units there's an OSA there that gets taken out LP Shep putting some territorials in there don't use them myself but maybe they're effective they're obviously 15 in a set so you've got 60 in there that's another some strength also more anti-air getting taken out and more anti-air so these SAS doing a fantastic job these guys don't really stand much of a chance against SAS with their high fire rate and these guys go down as well so I'm just sitting behind this island at the moment, recharging all my units. And they are holding quite well, considering we've got such a big lead. They can't have that many units left, and we are getting a lot more points than them currently, are we? We've got one, two, three, four, five sectors. Oh, they've still got four sectors, so they are holding quite well. But of course, when you've got rivers all the way along here, it is a little bit easier to hold. But we can see that Reindeer has also sent some units up the left to flank around so he should get some good views into Juliet hopefully when he gets these recon units placed over there he's also managed to he's, well, he's just tr he's trying to push forward across the river but they are defending very very well there however uh, El Pichette is pushing forward some leopards he's managing to get some anti-air in there he's got some ita some tow twos moving in there as well he's got his territorial sitting there so it looks like they're breaking down a little bit on the coast over here now I move my ships forward around about now well first of all I push a, a recon forward see what's going going on I'll bring in some more units Lafayette and LCU and Oliver Hazard and a chaparral because these chaparrals they can shoot from the sea so as long as they're in a decent position if they bring out any more anti-ship aircraft these chaparrals would be able to do them a little bit of damage meanwhile LP Shet has got a couple of chimeras as well so they're really really strongly armored and um, for me they're a little bit slow firing but they are very powerful and they are strong strong strongly armored and uh, will overwhelm any sort of lightly armored units send in a few well, very weak choppers but these track rapiers are going to make mincemeat out of these guys as long as they don't run out of ammo and reindeer has spotted the cv over here so hopefully he'll be able to take that out quite soon over on my side you can see the commandos have scanned all the way around there they did actually kill a unit here which i didn't show I push these two units. I don't like to split my guys, but I I know they can't have. I didn't think they've probably not got a lot left, and I wanted to attack this part of India and get as close to India and take out any units to try to support El Pichet, who's pushing up here, bringing in a couple more track rapiers there, as you can see, and Reindeer did indeed take out this CV from Juliet. So they've only got one spawn point left. They're sending in some more planes to attack these three that's the reason I don't like to leave them I like to keep them with a capital ship because the capital ships have normally get really really nice CIWS so there's more planes coming in and they're going to go down because they are pretty regular planes I don't think they're specific anti-ship planes and uh, now I decide I think we're all pretty much we're not completely healed but we're fairly healed up and the game is looking as if it could be completely one now so i'll get them all forward i'll send my lcus as well because we can clump our ships over here and just keep recharging them um, up in this corner so they've only got two areas left where they're getting any points from they are still trying very hard to defend over there on the left they're not giving up which is uh, good good on them good on them um but I think I'm pretty much ready for any eventuality over here. Another aircraft comes out, gets shot down. I brought in actually some um, amphibious units. I brought in some lav anti-tank units in these armoured trucks. Well, sorry, they are basically armoured anti-tank units, as you can see. And these are going to go up the left-hand side here and into India in this tree line, hopefully, or in this tree line, and attack India. 
I'm also bringing up my choppers just to, in case they're required. The chaparral's moving up towards my clump of ships, or my fleet of ships, should I say. Another recon, because my recon did actually get shot down. And I'm bringing in a VAB with some anti-tank uh, gun infantry and stalwarts with, I think they've got marines or something similar in as well. These are all amphibious and can land over right up here on the coast where my ships are. So there's more, they're basically just using their planes up now by the looks of it. What they're trying to do, I think, well, I'm not sure what they're trying to do, to be honest. I wouldn't send those planes out, but they'd feel they'd need feel the need maybe it's just because they've got them in their decks and they want to use them i don't know so my lads are getting into position however uh lp shet is pushing up um Rindia is getting a recon over onto the side of india i should be bringing my recon forward soon i hope but they're still holding out over on the river where Rindia has got all his infantry and my command chopper spots this t72 and Reindeer immediately puts up an attack sign there. I think he's going to attack that with some infantry. And uh, I do try to micro my plane, my, my ships forward, but uh, it's just unfortunately out of range. The artillery strikes there. And I think LP Shet here sending in a bomber here to try and take out this T 72. Bombs away. And yep, down it goes. So a nice strike there for LP Shet with a bit of artillery support from Reindeer and from me reconning it. So a nice bit of teamwork there. So India's down. LP Shet's got a number of tanks and uh, well, quite a, quite a lot, nice little army here in Charlie. Reindeer is attacking the CV again over here in Juliet and is still keeping his units well. Well, he's got a lot of units. He's not really pushing forward with him, there's them, but he's got a lot sitting there. In the meantime, I bring up some Seahawks, put my lavs into position. I don't push them any more forward because I haven't got any anti-air, really, to combat these um, choppers here. There is an artillery piece there that probably needs to be taken out. And the Pohang moves up there. Of course, I can't move my... And they bring in a load of ships. Okay, good. I was waiting for this. So a Udloid 2 appears as well as Yangu 3 and starts firing upon my units so Hishujan appears as well so my ships are returning fire luckily they are in in range of the bow guns and the anti-ship missile missiles of my ships as well which is really exactly what you want with um, in fact they're not all firing off in fact so only the Congo is in range of the bow gun currently but I do attack moves them quite soon, so as soon as they run out of anti-ship missiles, they will move forward and engage with their bow guns. Now my uh, choppers did attack the Udaloi and took it down to one life. Unfortunately, didn't kill it, so it can still use its CIWS fairly effectively. And they are bringing in a lot of ships. They've got a nice little fleet there now. So my fleet's under a little bit of pressure. Um... Congo's doing a fantastic job trying to deflect some of those missiles. I lose a the ship there. In fact, it, oh, it's just a Muna. I do bring in some um, anti-ship aircraft quite soon. As the naval battle continues they lose a ship there they push forward these hujans these hujans need to get a little bit closer to get their missiles off again i would have kept them clumped together so the udaloi can use its ciws but they do split their forces a little bit in fact it's all still co doing this my ships are just sitting there reindeer sends in his pohangs which have been supporting the attack here of their coastal in the coast My super pumas head back to the fob for a refill. My four super etendars come in on an attack run. Missiles away. Heading straight for the Udaloi. I don't know if anyone will be here. No, the missiles just get stopped there. The Udaloi lives to survive lives to fight another day. 
These Jangus are in trouble. They've got lots of, of radar, operate officers injured, all this sort of stuff, so they can't fire back. I think all my units are using their bow guns now. Yes, most of them anyway. And it looks like LP Shet in the meantime, while I've been distracted over on the right hand side watching this naval battle, there's another Jang another Jangu, I think that went down there. Let's move all his units up and turns them to the left to attack over towards Juliet now. So their attack over from the spawn point uh, in India is starting to diminish. And I'm just filling up my choppers. Hopefully they'll come back for one last go. My super etendards are moving in again. Let's take this second one. So they're going in for the kill on the Udaloy now. Remember the Udaloy down to one life. So hopefully it's going to go down this time and it gets taken down. In fact, it was an anti-ship missile that took it down in the end. And there it goes. It will slowly start to sink. So the little flourish comes to an end. Just a huge yarn left now. It's not going to last very long and down it goes. So I do manage to unload my infantry command at last. I'm just moving that into position into India. My Star Wars are a little bit late. They finally arrived. Uh, he sends forward a couple of aircraft here. But there's a lot of track rapiers. Going to just take that down. A lot of track rapiers. So they've not got a lot of resistance left. They're holding golf. Hotel looking a bit thin on the ground there. We just need to get a sight of their CVs. They're still sending out aircraft. In fact, they seem to have an awful lot of aircraft. I've just shot so many down in this game. And just throwing them at the track rapiers. I think they've just given up now. They're just throwing all the units forward. I've put my, I've pushed my lavs forward, my anti-tank units. They've got no spawn point anymore, it seems. Looks like Reindeer just finished off their CV in Juliet. I do bring in a whole bunch of Scorpion, oops, a whole bunch of Scorpion light tanks. Uh, there's their CV, it's BJ212. There's a couple of challenges coming in, but before we get a chance to get it, they actually give up. So nice game. Uh, yeah, pretty nice game. Of course, there are. I won't take too much by the score because, as I say, there's a lot of, of course, there's a lot of new players. It's going to take them a bit of time to get to know the game and we're going to get a few easy-ish sort of games. Although that wasn't mega easy. They did hang on in there. They did pretty well. I didn't check their stats at the start of the game, so I don't know quite how good they were. So, yeah, nice game. Um, so I'm going to obviously be playing a lot more Red Dragon. Thank you to my 35 subscribers as i say my channel hasn't been going very long i'm very very pleased to have 35 people actually subscribing and wanting to watch a couple one or two of my videos so please do comment like and subscribe i'm going to bring you lots of red dragon i'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the campaign i hope as long as the campaign is pretty decent and i might even do some tutorials i don't know please please do leave some comments tell me what you'd like to see I'd really, really like to get maybe up to 100 subscribers. would be absolutely amazing in the next few months. And we'll just have to see what happens. So I'll see you next time, guys.